Coming up now, a new platform is challenging the sometimes complicated relationship between humans and AI. So it's called Payman, and the idea is AI systems pay humans to complete tasks that require skills beyond current AI capabilities. This afternoon, we're taking a closer look at that platform, as well as what jobs will be more in demand and what workers and employers should be prepared to do. Let's bring in now Dr. Elijah Clark, professor at TCU's Neely School of Business and Forbes columnist on artificial intelligence. Dr. Clark, thank you so much for being here. All right, thank you for having me. Well, let's examine Payman's approach. It's still obviously in its testing phase, and we know that there are certain things AI just can't do. So what types of jobs would this platform really outsource to humans, and what is this process? What will it look like? Oh, right now, you got Payman. What it does is primarily it gives AI robots the ability to actually hire people. So right now, there are there will be a work uh, out there for those individuals, such as critical thinking, you got quality control, uh, mainly those jobs that require physical in-person service as well. That might be some repairs or deliveries and things of that nature. Okay, we've done extensive reporting here at KXAN on jobs that might be at risk when it comes to the future of AI. As the technology evolves, what does that list look like and what jobs will be more in demand? Uh, you'll primarily, you'll have where uh, experts can develop, implement, and maintain AI systems. So looking for individuals that can create those systems, such as software engineers, prompt engineers, uh, data scientists and analysts, for example. And then you have the project managers themselves, because the system is designed to go out there and find human workers. So naturally, somebody will need to create those jobs uh, within the AI robot system. And what now do employers as well as workers need to do to prepare for the evolving world of AI, artificial intelligence, as we're seeing it? Uh, primarily workers, we just want to be upskilled and reskilled. So if you don't know something, you don't know how to use our uh, artificial intelligence, or you have issues with the robots, you might want to learn how to use those tools uh, that will become in high demand. Of course, that means takes uh, workshops, uh, trainings, courses, online certifications. Uh, and from an employer standpoint, you might want to help reskill those employees and that also be patient and embrace that change because as employees are trying to learn these new systems, you want to make sure you're there to support them uh, throughout that process. Okay, Elijah Clark from TCU, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.